Hello, seventh and eighth grade art students. Welcome to lesson five. Lesson five is entitled No Tan. So in this project, you are going to be learning about the Japanese art form of No Tan. No Tan means a balance of light and dark. Um, so please check out the Google slide for your key terms on positive space versus negative space and how to create a balance uh, between positive and negative space. Um, all right, so this is an abstract artwork that we are going to be collaging. Um, one second, let me get an example for you to see. I forgot to grab one. All right, so like I said, this is an abstract artwork um, that you are going to be collaging. So here are a couple of examples. Another um, definition of Notan is, is also called the expansion of the square. So if you look at this artwork, you can actually see a square here and so you're going to actually start out with a six by six um, square piece of black construction paper um, if you can't get a hold of a six by six and you need something you have something smaller um, you can cut it down to three by three if that's helpful um, and then you need a 12 by 12 so you need to double it a 12 by 12 of any color so in my example I'm going to be using green so a six by six square black and then a large um, 12 by 12 of any color of your choice. Um, again, if you can't get a, if you can't, if I feel like this is probably more difficult for you to get a hold of. If you have trouble getting a 12 by 12, um, and what I did was I took an 18 by 12 and I cut it down to 12 by 12. If you can't get something that large, all you have at home is um, eight and a half by 11. Um, you can cut that down to eight by eight. Um, for your large, and then you would need a four by four square. So it's half the size, all right? So I have a six by six black square and then a 12 by 12 color of your choice construction paper. Um, anyway, expansion of the square. So you're gonna be starting out with that black square piece of paper and we're gonna be expanding it and breaking apart shapes out of it and gluing them down. So collage is a process of layering um, different materials together using glue. So we're using construction paper for this um, assignment. Please check out the Google slide. Um, in that, um, we review different types of shapes, organic shapes versus geometric shapes. We also talk about um, balance. We want to really think about balance in this project. Um, we don't want to take out a whole bunch of sections on this side and then nothing on this side. We want a nice balanced composition. Um, you could make this symmetrical if you wanted, or as you can see in my example, I have it upside down. <laughs> it, um, it is asymmetrical. I, I chose to do different um, shapes on all sides, but if you wanted to um, experiment with symmetrical, um, creating a symmetrical abstract artwork, you may. All right, so follow along in the, as we um, work together to create a no tan expansion of the square project. Um, beyond your paper, you're gonna need glue. I prefer liquid glue for this project, but if you have a glue stick that, that would work, um, you're obviously gonna need scissors because we're gonna be cutting and expanding that square, um, and then a pencil and eraser. All right, I hope you enjoy learning about the Japanese art form of no tan as we collage this abstract artwork. Step one, you are going to place your smaller black square in the center of your larger colored square and you're going to lightly trace around the black square uh, this is essential because we're going to be aligning all of the pieces that we cut out of the black um, square on the outline of the square so you have to do this step but we will be erasing it in the end so don't press really hard um, you want a really light outline of that square in the center of your large colored um, square piece of construction paper. Now you're going to set aside the large colored square and we are going to be working on the small black square drawing your shapes. Notice that each shape that I create has to start on an edge and end on the edge. Your shapes cannot be floating in the center. Also, we want to keep our shapes relatively simple. You don't want them to be too complicated. Otherwise, you will have an incredibly difficult time cutting them out. Um, this is when you are going to be thinking about, do you want it to be symmetrical or asymmetrical? 
Do you want to incorporate just organic type lines or rigid geometric, um, more angular lines or shapes, um, or a combination of both? So sketch your shapes lightly so you can adjust and make changes um, and sort of think it out before you begin what you want your shapes to look like. So notice they're pretty simple. I'm coming close to the center of my black paper. We don't want really small shapes just on the edge. Um, otherwise, it won't fill the space of your colored paper very well. So really wanting to utilize the majority of the space on that black paper. Also notice you can't have a shape on the corners. Um, it won't work. So all of your lines start and end on a side. Okay, so this is an example of what not to do. So anywhere where you see an X is what you're wanting to avoid. Not super complicated, wacky shapes. You can't have a shape on a corner. Um, you can't have shapes floating in the center. And if you're going to do the double shapes, make sure you're leaving about a quarter of an inch, um, sort of like a, a pinky width um, in between those shapes so that you can easily cut them out. I wouldn't, I would tr probably avoid triples. You can do a shape inside of a shape, but I would avoid triples. So this is more what you're looking for. Obviously, if you want yours to be symmetrical, mine is asymmetrical, go for symmetry if you want to, your choice. Um, if you wanna just do one type of line that, uh, or shape that is all organic, the more free-flowing, curvy shapes, great. Here I did a combination of. So you have definitely some options. You're not expecting yours to look exactly like mine. But again, I can't emphasize enough, all of your um, lines have to start and stop on an edge um, and we're trying to create a nice balanced composition, composition. So regardless of if it's symmetrical or asymmetrical, we still want a balance. So you want nice size shapes on all sides. You don't want teeny tiny shapes on one side and then big shapes on the other. It would be off balance. So really think about balance and utilizing those shapes all the way around on all four sides of your square.